Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. Are back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. King. Encouraging move from the Dons' point of view. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Wright has it. Newman. Gibbs now. Making progress. It might be. And able to close down the shots. Just the clearance that was called for. Mitrovic. A really effective shielding under pressure. And now William coming into it. And the keeper taking it cleanly. Dalton. Good Don's move in the making. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Mitrovic. And now William coming into it. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Determined defending. William. Wilson. And now passing it through. He's managed to get in behind. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. So back underway following the equaliser. Right, I think we'd better go to Alex Scott for an update because I believe Alex has been a goal at the London Stadium. It's a goal for West Ham. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. And over comes the corner. Simple catch, really. Well, to Alex, apologies for having to interrupt you just then. Just to confirm, West Ham did find the net in that game, and the match is level at 1-1. Harrison Reid. In position. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, there it is. Half-time. The first time. So back underway here into the second half. Wilson. Pereira now delivering that deep cross. Well, pretty straightforward for the keeper, you've got to say. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal at Selhurst Park, but who has scored it? Alex is going to tell us. It's a goal from Manchester City. It's now 1-0 with 46... Sorry, Alex, could be a goal here. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Chance to cross. It has to be. And a goal! In the lead again. Fully deserved. So the action continues and the onus is on the Dons to erase the damage done by that concession. Throw in for Fulham. Well, sincere apologies for having to cut you off just then, Alex. 
Just to confirm, Manchester City did find the net in that match. And their lead stands at 1-0 presently. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Wilson. Well, Manchester City have been busy in the transfer market. The contract situation finally ironed out, and he could be available very soon, Stuart. Well, at around £60 million, I think he'll prove to be an excellent sign-in. Yes, he'll be under pressure, but he's got the character and, more importantly, the ability to cope with it. Gibbs. Giving it a try. And saved by the keeper. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Well, pushing again for a goal, looking full of purpose. I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. How can they find a late leveller? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. So approaching the final whistle and the visitors on course to lose narrowly here. Stuart, what have you made of it? Well, they're still in with a chance here, but can they produce one more big moment before the end? Mind you, this has been a really good game. Well, still an issue here. An interceptor there. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? Oh, a good diving save. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. And a substitution in the offing. And over comes the corner. Well, not the easiest of chances. Tightly marked, but not even close in the end. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Unless you're in attacking position, it's not too late for them. And that will be all for this game anyway. And, and the game... Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's the Dons taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Kepa begins in goal. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Kai Havertz starts with Raheem Sterling out wide. And the starting striker today is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Well, good hands there from the keeper. Well, you have to think, Stuart, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's natural goal-scoring presence could make the difference here. Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to be tightly marked today because in the last match, he was outstanding. He got his two goals, but it was his general play that was brilliant. And I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. It's a weighted pass. Aubameyang 
Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Playing it short. And crossed in there. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. That is how to apply the pressure. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. And very deftly cut out. Evans. Can he find the right pass? He's given it straight to the opposition. Obama Yang. Will he play it in? Obama Yang. Is it going to be Raheem Sterling? Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. Clean challenge. And they keep the ball. Advantage Chelsea. Obama Yang reading it well. Nash. Gibbs. How oh, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, he's walking a fine line. No caution, though. Well, the referee's made it quite clear, hasn't he? Next foul, and he will get a booking. This looks threatening. That's all they can conjure for now. So, the whistle then. We're up the half. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Excellent defending. Oh, nice ball. Habits. James. And return to Conte. Well, he really read that brilliantly. A deft clearance. Highly significant transfer news. I'm sure you want to hear all about it. Jose Maria Jimenez has bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Evans. Really good challenge. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Enzo Fernandez. Can he finish this? Well, room for improvement in terms of the finish. And they will make the change now. King. More live football to come. A little note about a future game with us here on EA TV. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. Now, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Obama Yang, Obama Yang, and denied by the keeper. Impressive. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And a short corner, let's see. Sterling crossing. The clearance wasn't decisive. And in the end, no damage done. A real opening now. Surely. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil. There it is. They're in front.
Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. A quarter of an hour remaining here. And Chelsea looking dangerous. Just not looking confident in possession. The onus is on Chelsea to be positive with time running out. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Felix. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Joao Felix. This could level it, but denied by the keeper. And at this late stage of the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. Let's see about the delivery. An alert intervention. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. And a chance to level it. And a goal it is. But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game. And now they get... Cameras trained on one man. Three goals in his last three games. He's in sparkling form. We'll have the action on EA TV. Hello, everyone. You know, some footballers enjoy a rainy day. Not sure fans always feel that way. But an exciting match and prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Brentford up against the Dons. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yeah, Nottingham Forest were awarded the penalty. Well, a piece of quick thinking by the keeper. Well, that's great goalkeeping. He read it so well, didn't he? Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. Well, he let them go on, but now he's going to deal with the yellow card situation. Yeah, and he was always going to be booked for that challenge. It was a poor one, you have to say. The Dons might be able to cash in. High quality defending. Well, it doesn't make great reading for our hosts. Just look at this. It's the weakest attack in the league, and that's official. Well, there just isn't enough creativity in the team. Yes, the strikers haven't played well, but the service into them has been really poor. Unless they play with more freedom, I can't see where the goals are going to come from today. The clearance wasn't decisive. Oh, he's blocked it! 
Now, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Might take the lead. Oh, his eyes lit up, thinking it was about to be the opener. Well, just the lack of composure. He should score there. And now King. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Could play it in. A wonderful intervention. Now can they counter clinically? All hands on deck. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. So the Dawns get things restarted. Let's see if they can wipe out that last goal. Teammates available. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, almost on the cusp of the half-time interval on the Dons behind. Your thoughts on their play? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. It's opening up for them. Will he finish? And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. And there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And back in business here, the Dawn's trailing, but still plenty of time for them to spark a comeback. Will they get themselves level here? And opting for power over placement, but not the desired result. story that's been covered extensively on television and the newspapers and on social media Angel Correa has completed his move to Villarreal well the figure being reported is about 30 million pounds which in my view is value for money we know he's talented and on his day he can be an excellent player top class defending Janssen Dalton couldn't find a teammate throw in here Tony. And he did well to cut it out. So a half an hour remaining. And the counter looks on here. Options available. An incisive pass. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Peterson. Could be! Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. 
Substitution time it is here. Corner kick played in. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. And a change to the scoreline in the Fulham game. Alex Scott can tell us more. It's a second goal for Fulham. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 73 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Over the touchline for what will be a Brentford throw. Opportunity here. It's still alive. Oh, chance taken. There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. It's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Par. Fine cross into the middle. Well, they can keep possession now. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Mohamed Madi Kamara. And they need to get tighter. The referee blows for full time. It ends in a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here.